Over the weekend, we met close to a dozen street vendors and hawkers, trying to crack an effective yet easy technology to empower them. What we came up with is Periwala, a platform that enables street vendors to use basic tools like a missed call or a SMS for communicating with their target market. Here is a quick diagram showing the Feriwala system in action. As a hawker reaches a colony or a residential area, he sends an SMS or makes a missed call to a number assigned to that area. The Feriwala server then sends out automated SMSs or calls to people who are interested in the offering of that particular vendor. The system can also work the other way around and take demand inputs from buyers and assist the vendor in choosing their stock for the day or area to target. As we went out on the roads to test our hypothesis when we first came up with the concept, the ground reality had some bouncers in place for us. Coming from Mumbai, one of our team members was totally unaware of the scale at which organized retail in Hyderabad sells vegetables, fruits and food grains. In Mumbai and many other cities, street vendors rule. This made us go to the wholesale markets and do some research and find if this is the end of the road for street vendors. What we found was encouraging. Street vendors can actually compete on price and quality. In some cases, we found that organized retailers were selling vegetables for as much as 50% over the street rate. With these inputs and our original vision to empower street vendors and hawkers, we created the Feriwala platform. Alright, so the first question that we always ask is, how will or why will a hawker come and uh, register to the system? The answer is, hawker won't come online and register or send SMS and register to the system. The consumers who want to purchase Mosambi from Ramu would uh, register online and give him a number. If you're an ISB, just give him a spot to this number. Your, your customers over here will automatically get an update. And Ramu can then start educating other customers in the area that, hey, I'll give him a score. Uh, question is the value proposition. Hawkers have a problem connecting to their target audience because they're spread over a large area, there's no effective tools for communication, and the demand is fragmented. What we're doing is we are making a geo, uh, we have actually made a geo aware platform, and it's very simple. We are getting demand as well. Uh, the revenue model, uh, we have some ideas for revenue models. So suppose a CCD is opening around ISB. Uh, I know that you're buying Lady Fingers and you're buying Mosambi. I can actually send you 5% coupons along with the SMS that comes to you and uh, the CCD gets some traffic. I charge them for that. Or worst come worst, I can charge the consumers 100 rupees a year. Our costs are really low as you will see. And we, don't want to, we don't want to charge the hawkers, but maybe in the future there may be value or maybe organized retailers want to advertise with us or get on board. Our cost, as we have worked out, is rupees 800 for 25,000 outgoing calls. We are assuming four second calls to just tell you Mosam Diwala niche hai. Uh, we have a working platform uh, which is SMS enabled. So the resolution is bad, but uh, once you log in, you can see vendors in your area. You can search for something in your area. So you search for green leaf, and Ramu is selling green leaf and Amipay. You can unsubscribe or subscribe to vendors that you like, and you st start receiving messages from them. And once the once the vendor is in your area, he sends an SMS, and you receive a SMS message. So we have SMS enabled gateway right now. So uh, you should see SMS shortly. All right, so that's pretty much it. We are ready to go for a demo run in a small colony. That's how we plan to seed it. So we pick up a colony with 200 or so people and make it happen over there and then expect the word of mouth to spread. Uh, the IVR systems and costings are available. I can give you, give you in person. So I'm pretty much